my name is Anthony. Welcome to this course. I'm passionate about education. I have a background in teaching and lecturing and I have a Bachelor of Accounting Science as well as a Bachelor of Commerce in Financial Planning. This course is made especially for you to help you with net present value and time value of money. These are some of the most important basic principles that are covered in financial mathematics. So you're probably wondering about the benefits. Well, let me explain what you can expect from this course. Financial mathematics is a skill that can be applied in many different areas. After completing this course, you will be able to identify and understand what the basic time value of money rules are. We will be looking at things like simple interest, compound interest, present value, future value, annuities, interest rates, and obviously your calculation skills. Net present value is the focus because using the time value of money principles, we can then apply them in a very specific application. And that is what we're going to be looking at with net present value. You will learn how to calculate answers for time value of money questions, and you'll understand the importance of time value of money and how it relates to different calculations. Just to give you an introduction and to go through the objectives and course content, in the course, we'll be starting with financial mathematics, giving you a brief intro and objectives. Then we'll be looking at a background on finance. We'll then look at net present value specifically. We'll then move on and we'll cover some very important basics regarding time value of money principles. We'll cover net present value theory and we'll then look at calculations relating to present value and future value. Lastly, we'll look at computing NPV calculations and we'll even use Microsoft Excel to show you how time value of money calculations can be completed using that particular tool. We'll then conclude and summarize before ending our course. Thank you for considering this course. If you're wondering if this course is for you, well, we've identified two key points that you can consider when deciding on whether you should enroll. This particular course is focusing on students with absolutely no background in financial mathematics, but they would like to learn the basics and they would like to get the basic skills and knowledge for their own personal or professional growth. Students wanting to learn the universal concepts that apply to all levels of financial mathematics should choose to enroll in this course and you'll get all the basics that you require in order to do more advanced modules at a later stage. Thank you for watching this intro. Try preview and explore what this course has to offer and consider enrolling.